Okay, so occasionally I go and look for things that uh, I need video-wise to support uh, class or whatever it happens to be, and it takes me a while to find something, and the stuff that I find I don't particularly like or whatever, or it's not is any way I'd want to do it. So I had a question or two in an assignment recently about solving systems of equations by graphing, and where one of them is quadratic. So you get that little parabola thing, like the U shape that pops up into the equation, and you need to know, like, well, what does that mean? What's the solution to that system? Solutions to systems are, once again, in case you forgot, would be points of intersection. The lines represent all the points uh, in uh, when I plug in X, I get a Y that matches it. It makes a coordinate point. The lines just represent all possible X's and Y's together as one big group, but they're so tightly packed they make lines. Um, so solutions to systems are the points where they share points or where the dots uh, intersect. So what we're looking for when we graph two things uh, like this to be where they would intersect. Oftentimes, you'll end up with cases where you have more than one intersection point when you have a <coughs> parabola or quadratic setup, uh, like in the answer choice here for A. You'll see it hits twice. So that's a possibility. It's also possible that they just hit once. But uh, I'm just going to get into how you can find the answers quickly using calculator, and then you can go on further to figure out there are certain situations where you could sort of tell how many solutions there are going to be, but we're not going to worry about that right here. This is the short version. Um, anyway, I'm going to go in and I'm going to graph them both. I'm using a T84+. Plus. Obviously, I've been graphing with it before, and they clear some stuff out. Um, so I'm going to just type in x squared plus 3x plus minus 2. Sorry. Don't put negative 2 there, and don't forget your x like I did. Otherwise, you'll get weird answers, and the calculator doesn't know what to do with it. If you put negative 2 there, it just sort of tries to guess that you're multiplying. And then you'll do 2x minus 2. So from here, I get some indication of what the graph looks like, so I'm going to graph it. As you can see, it's a positive. Uh, the quadratic is positive, so it's positive x squared or whatever. So obviously, a is out. That's a negative. It's facing down. Um, but I can find the exact points of intersection. But before I do that, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to get a better look, kind of uh, where it's all headed. It might have zoomed in too much now that I realize. Mm, yeah, I might zoom that back out. What I'll do instead is I'll just change all these to five to match the setup on the calculator. So if zoom doesn't work for you, you can always just change the y max and y mins, and then it'll make a nice pretty graph so you can match it more easily. You'll see it probably goes through twice. So what I'm going to do is actually find the points of intersection. So I'm going to hit second trace. I'm going to go in and look for intersection points. It'll say, is this the first curve? So basically you're just looking to see, is it on the line? Yeah, it is. The second curve would be or the first one would have been, is it on the, the parabola? And yes. Here's the second curve. The reason they ask you that is sometimes you'll have three or four lines and they just want to know which ones you're talking about. And then the guess, I'll go somewhere down here to get a better indication of where the cross is. And it says, yeah, there's an intersection at negative one and negative four. So on some paper somewhere, I'll probably write that down. Um, from there, I'll just do the same thing again. Second, trace, and I'll look for an intersection point. And is it on the first curve? I just need to make sure that it's somewhere. Yes, the second curve. I'll tend to go out a little bit more because they're really tightly packed at that one point. And so, yeah, I'm on the second curve of the line. And then guess. Somewhere around here, they'll probably cross again. And I get, uh, it says 2.8 e negative 14, which makes Zippo sense, which means I picked a terrible intersection point. So what I'm going to do is try it again. What I probably did was not, I wasn't on uh, curve 1. Sometimes you have to go back through the menus and stuff. It'll ask about the first curve. It might be easier for me to just see them if I move them to the right. Yeah, now it's on the parabola, that's good. And it's on this one. And then I know it crosses somewhere, you know, right around in here. And it says there's an intersection at 0 and negative 2. So if you get a weird thing, at least you got to see me get something random that didn't make any sense. And it was because I was going through the menu too fast or I needed to go back fresh because it kept trying to use the original first curve. So what I'm going to do is find 
one that shows the intersection, and B matches out perfectly. So that's that setup. I didn't want this to be too long, so I'm only going to do one. But uh, just graph them both, find the intersection points. If you get tight like that, you can always zoom in and out and get your right answer.